guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Brooke. I do cooking videos, cleaning videos, mom hacks, tips, tricks, stay in the life vlogs, hauls, all that fun kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today I am going to be doing a tag video. I have never done a tag video before, but they sound like fun, so I thought, why not do one? So we are going to be doing the YouTube mom tag. I have to read the questions off my phone, so that's why I'm going to be looking down. <laughs> but question number one is, what is the last movie you saw that made you cry? I don't really watch a lot of adult movies because I have three girls, so we're usually just watching things like Finding Dory and Moana and Frozen, all that kind of stuff. But uh, last spring when I Feel Pretty came out to theaters, Grant and I went to see it and I thought it was just gonna be a funny light-hearted movie <laughs> it was but it made me cry I cried at that movie um, so that was the last movie I saw that made me cry question number two what is your favorite thing to do when you have a couple hours to yourself sleep <laughs> I like to catch up on sleep or Binge watch Shane Dawson. Um, he has conspiracy theories that I'm addicted to. He needs a Netflix series, let's be real. Like, they're very, very good. If you haven't seen them, you should go check them out if you don't mind <laughs> cursing. That's why I can't watch it when my kids are around because he drops the F bomb a lot. But they're very addicting to watch. So I would binge watch those if I had. A few hours to myself. Um, number three, what is your favorite breakfast food? Bacon. I love bacon. Number four, what are the top three home improvements or repairs you would like to see done if money was no object? If money was no object, I would add a master bathroom. We only have one bathroom in our house, so I would add a master bathroom. I would redo and expand our kitchen and maybe add on another bedroom so my girls don't have to share because Aubrey and Emma share a bedroom. But we're going to be moving in a year or two, so we won't be spending money on that. <laughs> Number five, what is your favorite baby name you never used? Oh, Claire. I absolutely adore the name Claire. Uh, Grant actually really likes that name too, but Claire Klein, we felt, sounded like you were like, clearing your throat or something. So we never got to use Claire. Uh, we have three girls. So we never got to use a boy's name and I like the name Connor and Spencer and Tyler. Never got to use a boy's name. I want another baby. <laughs> Number six. What is your favorite store to shop in? Target. I love Target. We don't have a Target by us. We have to drive about 45 minutes to get to the nearest Target, but I really do like to shop at Target. Number seven. What did you do before you became a mom? I was actually a fifth grade teacher in North Carolina when my ex-husband and I became pregnant with Ava. So that's what I did before I became a mom. Number eight, what is your favorite hobby? I don't really have any hobbies. I mean, I guess YouTube. Um, I really like making videos and editing videos and then going back and watching the videos from like our vacations and stuff. It's a lot of fun, so I guess I would say YouTube. If you could spend a day doing whatever you wanted to do, what would you do? That depends. If it was like, if money was not an object, I would spend a day at Disney because I love Disney. Uh, I'd be at Magic Kingdom all day because that's my favorite park. That's what I would do if money was no object. But if money was an object, I would say just have a lazy day at home where I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean. I could just binge watch Shane Dawson <laughs> or Netflix, read, just a lazy, cozy day. That would be nice. 
Number 10, how did you meet your husband? We actually met in high school. Um, we weren't really friends in high school, but we met in high school when my ex-husband and I were like towards the end of our divorce. Uh, we started talking again, um, reconnected. I mean, I guess connected because we didn't really hang out in high school. I don't know. We, we met in high school. Number 11, what was your favorite family vacation recently or when you were a kid? Uh, I would say my favorite family vacation was the last trip we took to Disney. It is the only trip to Disney that we took with Emma, um, that Emma got to go with. And just seeing her meet Snow White made, made the trip. It was so magical. She adores Snow White. She never even watched the movie before she became obsessed with Snow White. So I don't know where that came from, but she, oh, it was, it was, I really wish I would have vlogged that because thinking about it just melts my heart. It was so sweet. Uh, number 12, name three things you do well. <laughs> okay. Um... Planning vacations, I think I do that well. I love planning vacations. I think that's super fun. Um, I actually have friends that have me plan their Disney vacations for them because I love doing it so much. Um, I think I do my job well. I am a realtor and they said, you're not going to make any money in your first six months. Just like know that you don't you don't make money in your first six months of real estate and in my first month and a half i closed on two houses so <laughs> i think i do pretty pretty good at my job and the third thing um, i think i'm really good at making people comfortable they people for some reason like to tell me everything when they meet me people i work with people in grocery stores. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm a good listener or something. I don't like, I don't know. When I used to wait tables at Applebee's, um, I had a guy tell me that I was, I was a work mom to him because he would just come to me and tell me his problems and <laughs> would give him advice and stuff. I don't know. Um, number 13, name three toiletries or makeup items you could not live without mascara. <laughs> I have the shortest, stubbiest little eyelashes and so mascara makes it a little bit better. Um, probably conditioner. I have to straighten my hair because otherwise it's like whew. but if I don't condition it, it gets so tangly and snarly. It's terrible. So conditioner. Three things, right? Yes, um, toothpaste, because that would just be disgusting to live without toothpaste. I, I couldn't handle that. 14, name your favorite thing about each of your children. Okay, so Ava is my oldest, she's 11. Um, I think my favorite thing about her is she is like the most kind-hearted person you will ever meet. Uh, she has such a big heart. She will give anybody anything. Um, she got birthday money and I make blessings bags, which are just bags that have like toiletries and non-perishable snacks and stuff in it. So if you see a homeless person, you can give it to, to that person. And after she got her birthday money, we were at the store and she said, mom, can I get some things for a blessings bag? And she bought a bunch of things with her own money for a blessings bag. Or when we have Scholastic Books sales at her school, um, if she has, if she brings money because she, she always gets to bring. I mean, you're gonna buy books. Like that's a good thing to to buy. Um, and her friend doesn't have money for a book. She'll buy her friends a book. Like she is just such a giving person. She's always been that way, even when she was little. Aubrey is my seven-year-old and she is the biggest goofball. She, 
she is she will have you in stitches she is just so silly um, I also love that when it's bedtime and you tell her to go to bed she goes to bed and she goes to sleep and she doesn't get up five and a half thousand times because she needs to go to the bathroom again or get another drink of water again or she needs to tell us something like she will go to bed and that makes me so happy because Emma is the complete opposite it's bedtime and she is up in she, bedtime here for the littles is 7 30 like they're in bed you can read a book look at a book but you need to be in bed to calm me down for the night no Emma will be up until like 10 o'clock getting up out of bed every five seconds it drives us crazy but anyway so <laughs> that's Aubrey um uh, Emma is my four-year-old and she is my cuddle bug oh my goodness she is the best little snuggler she has always been a really good cuddler like you know how when most little kids give you a hug like they barely grab on like she just squeezes she's always done that she is my cuddle bug I love that about her okay number 15 what was your first job <laughs> I used to clean hotel rooms. That was my first job. I was 14 years old and I was cleaning hotel rooms and it was disgusting. People are nasty. Um, props to those of you that do that because after that summer I was like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. And so I went and I worked in the one of the grocery stores in our town. I was a bag girl, cashier, and I worked in the bakery. <laughs> but yeah, so cleaning rooms at a hotel was my first job. Never doing that again. What are your hidden talents? Number 16 is what are your hidden talents? I don't really have any hidden talents. Um, I'm not a very talented person. I sing, but I, I don't do a very good job. Um, I guess like I can move one eye without the other. It's really kind of weird. My girls get a kick out of it, but that's not really a talent. That's just kind of a weird, weird thing that you can do. That was 16, so number 17. How long did you date your husband before you got engaged? Let's see. We started dating in December, and then he proposed to me in September. So almost a year. We dated for almost a year before he proposed. Number 18. What are your top three favorite TV shows? Okay, so we don't have cable. We have Netflix, Charter, or <laughs> Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. So I'm going to go old school and say my shows that, I mean, I still watch these shows, but they're not new shows. So Friends love that show glee and gilmore girls those are my top three shows uh, number 19 what is the bravest thing you've ever done i would say moving out of state to teach uh, i am a family oriented person so to move 16 hours away to a place i've never been without family I mean, my ex-husband came with me, but I didn't have my family, like my parents, and I don't know, my mom is my best friend, so um, to move 16 hours away was kind of, I don't know, it was scary, but it was the bravest thing I've ever done. 20, where were you three hours ago? Three hours ago, I was dropping Emma off at preschool. 21. What is one thing on your winter, spring, summer, and fall bucket list? Winter bucket list? Eh. Stay warm? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe more nature walks, like going to different places and doing nature walks in the winter? I don't know. Uh, spring? We are talking about going to like Myrtle Beach or the Outer Banks or something during spring break. So that's on my bucket list. I would really like to do that. 
Ah, da, 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 summer camping. We haven't been camping since before Emma was born. Did we go camping? Yeah, we went camping with Aubrey a couple times. But we haven't been camping since Emma was born, so I would like to start camping again. So that is definitely on my bucket list of things to start doing again. And fall, I would really like to go to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. My friends and I are actually talking about doing a momcation next year and doing that. Uh, it might be kind of hard though because one of my friends is a teacher and that's the beginning of the school year. So we'll see if that happens, but if it does, I will definitely vlog it. Number 22, do you meal plan? What is one weekly staple? I try to meal plan. I do. I have a calendar on my refrigerator that has what I plan to make every day of the week. Or if we're going to be gone somewhere, it's got that on there. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. <laughs> um, and then one staple, one weekly staple, uh, Taco Tuesday. My girls love tacos. I love tacos. We do Taco Tuesday. Sometimes it's Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday. But we do tacos, taco salads, fajitas, chicken tortilla soup, like a taco e kind of thing just about every week. So that's that. Um, when you were a kid, 23, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a marine biologist. I absolutely loved still do love marine life. Um, I remember when I was in middle school, my aunt and uncle lived in San Diego and we went there and they have a college there. It's like right on the ocean and I guess that's what they do. And so I wanted to go there. Hey Bella. My dog's coming in here. Um, it's getting dark in here. It's going to start 24, would you rather travel 50 years into the future or 50 years into the past? The past. I feel like the world is getting worse and worse and I really don't want to see what it's going to be like in 50 years. That actually kind of scares me. So I would go to the past. I love oldies music anyway. So, And I keep flipping my phone and it keeps going to the top so I have to scroll back down. Uh, number 25, what has been your best ever Halloween costume? Um, I always did generic things. Uh, I was a Little Red Riding Hood once. Um, I was a cave girl once. I was a nurse, not a naughty nurse because that was for work. So I wore scrubs and like just bought a stethoscope thingy. Um... I wasn't, I don't know, I don't really have any cool Halloween, Halloween costumes. Um, 26, night owl or early bird, night owl for sure. I am not a morning person. My alarm goes off and I'm like, ah, really, already? Didn't I just go to bed? <laughs> because I did, because I'm a night owl. I go to bed super late and really don't like getting up in the morning. 27, if you're having guests over, what is your go-to dish to serve? That depends. If it's a lot of people, um, we usually do like a potluck because it just makes it easier. And I'll usually make snicker, snicker apple salad. Sounds really weird. It's really good. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But everybody likes it. They request it. So that's usually what I make. But if it's just a few people, I'll order pizza <laughs> because it's easy. Um, 28, are you messy, neat, or somewhere in the middle? I would say somewhere in the middle. I try to be super neat, but like I fall short on keeping up on things sometimes. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I fall short on keeping up. I try. Uh, 29, what is one thing you desperately need to do but have been putting off? <laughs> what I was just talking about, keeping up on things. I need to clean out my closet so badly. And actually, my girls' closets. I'm in my middle daughter, my youngest daughter, youngest and middle daughter, I guess, is room right now. So I thought, mom tag, be in their room. Um, I need to clean out my closet and my girls' closets desperately. 
but I just really don't want to do it. So I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I just need to buck up and do it. And number 30, name five YouTube moms you think everyone should be watching. Okay. There are a lot more than five YouTube moms that I think everybody should watch. So I'm going to name five YouTube moms you should watch. And then I'm going to tag <laughs> two YouTube moms that I watch religiously that I think that you should watch as well. Actually, I'm going to tag four moms. So five moms that you should definitely watch are um, Jamie from Jamie's Journey, um, Style Mom XO, Love Meg, Brianna K and April from April Justin TV. She also has a like channel, um, April Athena. And then I'm going to tag two YouTubers that I look up to um, that I definitely think you should watch. Uh, Till Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part. She, I swear, she has the best hair on YouTube. I need to find out what kind of shampoo conditioner that girl uses because her hair is always so pretty but she does um cleaning videos she does diy videos day in the life videos um she is very thrifty and her house is amazing when we move in a year or two i need to have her come up and give her some money and be like here style my house because i love the way you styled yours that'd be a good collab video um but definitely watch her. And then Tiffany from Beauty and the Beastins. They just had a little baby, um, uh, Ella, Ella Nutella. <laughs> she is so cute, but she does cleaning videos. She's got really good recipes on her channel and her kids are adorable. So definitely check out her channel. And then the two that I'm going to tag that have been commenting on my posts that have active channels are Mommy Life and room for improvement i think you should check out their channels as well. i will put the questions in the co comments no i'll put the questions in the um description box below so that way it's easier for you to answer your questions and um, i can't wait to see what you guys post but if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and follow us on instagram thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye Feels like time is going faster than it seems